So let's get into this Warren Gatland Welsh selection for the France game, and I think the Gatland experiment continues. He's made some really interesting calls here. Are they tactical, or are they for a different reason, or maybe for the future? And I think more the latter. They've changed Daffy Jenkins, the young captain, the second row. He goes to blindside. And I do get that he adds physicality, an extra line option maybe against a powerful French pack. But is he the most natural blindside? I don't think so. He's probably not the most naturally agile or quick. And young second rows, they can kind of get away with it. But I think there might be better options there. Or is it more he wants to keep the captain on the pitch and he knows that Beard and Will Rowlands are the best second rows? I think maybe it's a bit more that. I probably would have liked to see tactically if he wants to beef up the pack, maybe moving Aaron Wainwright to six. Mackenzie Martin could play eight, maybe. That might be preferred. But I think he's trying to keep that leadership on the pitch, not trying to drop his captain. But you let me know if you think it's just more tactical and that is the best team to face Ireland. A quick word for the sponsor, Lifting Giants, because Will Rowlands wears their lifting blocks. They're giving us 20% off their lifting blocks in this Six Nations through their website, link below. Now, the other two changes that confirm it to me that Gatland is indeed selecting for the future rather than for right now is the centres. Now, Tompkins and North have been dropped, if you want to call it that, but they are their best centres. I don't think there's a doubt about that. So why drop both of them? Well, he wants to get Joe Roberts some game time, who could well be the future in the centre for Wales. Who do you play alongside him, inside him? Do you go Tompkins, who's a bit smaller, or do you go for the slightly beefier Owen Watkin? Watkins' experience, he's 27, so he still has time on the clock, but I don't think he's the future. So maybe it's just the best partner for Joe Roberts with that selection, but let me know what you think. Other alterations, I don't think make the team stronger necessarily. No, it looks like it's a slight rotation, really. I can feel the comment section exploding, actually, for the hooker, Ryan Elias, starting over Elliot D, because many of you don't rate Elias. You're worried about his line-out throwing in particular. So I don't think it's really on performance, although you could argue he's slightly beefier for the scrum, maybe. I guess against France, that could help. And then the other change, Kieran Hardy drops out, and if he's fit... That doesn't seem quite right either because he had a really good injection of pace off the bench last week so or the week before. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So the more bulky Elias, yeah, I kind of get it, but I don't think it's on performance either. Now, I think the really unlucky player in this selection is Mason Grady. Gatlin's been trying lots of new players, but he once again sits on the bench. Surely a start on the wing is on the cards for him, for Adams or Dyer. And I think Gatlin, from what he said, has hinted these changes are more that players deserve an opportunity rather than selecting the strongest team. He's talked about them staying in the fight, having good line speed defensively, keeping our discipline. Maybe he's just being prudent and it's like, I'm going to defend a lot in this game. So if we stay clean, maybe an opportunity will present itself. France haven't been great. Their discipline could disintegrate. Maybe that's what he's playing for. Let me know what you think. Is this a positive selection or is he just selecting for the future? In the starting team, we're looking forward to Cameron win at play. His counter-attack has been brilliant. He's got the skills, probably just needs a couple of years physical development to get to his peak. On the bench, we've got two back rows there, Mann and Mackenzie Martin, because of course Jenkins can go in the second row. So plenty of pace to come on there. Martin looks a real beast of an athlete. And like I said, Mason Grady once again twiddling his thumbs, waiting for an opportunity which everyone else seems to be getting. So let me know what you think of that selection. Is he selecting for the future as I think? Is he being pragmatic and just holding on in this game, staying in the fight, seeing what happens? Could he be more positive? Love to know your thoughts. All the comments below and I'll catch you next time.